We have new developments in that horrifying massacre in Michigan. The alleged gunman, an Uber driver, now in custody as police investigate whether he picked up fares during the shooting spree. And a search is on for his motive. ABC's Alex Perez has the latest from Kalamazoo. Good morning, Alex. Good morning, Robin. The Uber driver is expected to make his first appearance in court here later today. At this point, authorities are tight-lipped about any possible motives in this case. This morning, the hunt for answers. What triggered an alleged rampage that led police to arrest Uber driver Jason Dalton? Shots fired. We have one confirmed victim right now. The mayhem in Kalamazoo beginning at 542 Saturday evening. A woman shot several times in the parking lot of this residential complex. She survives. But at 10.08 p.m. in this car dealership parking lot, a father and his 17-year-old son shot and killed. Just 16 minutes later, the gunman opens fire outside this Cracker Barrel restaurant, killing four people, including former teacher Mary Lou Nye. Dispatch all units. Suspect vehicle in a shooting last seen at Cracker Barrel. This is your worst nightmare. By 1240 Sunday morning, police spot the suspect's vehicle and take him into custody without incident. The victims, investigators say, apparently selected at random. How do you go and tell the families of these victims that they weren't targeted for any reason? Authorities investigating whether the alleged gunman took Uber fares in between shootings. This man, who didn't want to be identified, says he was one of Dalton's passengers during the alleged rampage. I like half-heartedly joked at him and said, you're not the shooter, are you? And he, uh, he said no, and I said, are you sure? And he said, no, I'm just really tired. Matt Mellon says he rode with Dalton just 70 minutes before the first shooting, telling ABC News he sat in the front seat because Dalton had a dog in the back seat and that the ride started normally. But within a few minutes, he had to find a way out of Dalton's car. You're kind of driving through medians, driving through the lawn, speeding along, and then finally, once he came to a stop, I jumped out of the car and ran away. Mellon says he then called 911 and gave police Dalton's plate number and later even provided officers with Dalton's name and picture from his Uber account. And this morning we're learning one of the young victims, a 14 year old girl who is believed to be brain dead, is fighting for her life, responding to doctors with two thumbs up when asked if she can hear them.